Quick Dick McDick coming to you from Saskatchewan here. And yes, we uh, finished harvest the other day. Now everyone's like, well, quick take, what do you do for the rest of the fall? Well, it's never a dull moment here because we have cattle, so you're always doing stuff. So I didn't have the time to get a video ready for tomorrow. And there's a whole bunch of people out there that just walk around and put videos of what they do farming on the internet. And I'm going to try it this week just because I don't have time to do anything else. So today we're going to go get around some fence over at BMA's place over by Tufnell because we're going to turn some cows out on the stubble out there because that's what we do here on the Far Hour Ranch. We use cattle to go out to control green stemming and to help fertilize our crops for the next year. That takes a solid fence around the perimeter. So let's jump in old Morty here. <laughs> we're going to go fencing. So in all reality, like fence isn't that much different than equipment. I mean, it requires maintenance because weather can be hard on it over time. Wildlife can be hard on it over time. The difference between fence and equipment is fence doesn't randomly catch fire out in the middle of your field. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, always a nice drive out to BMAs. Real nice. You ever wonder if anyone from SGI is watching your videos and they're like, that bastard. <laughs> All right, so we're out in glorious old Tufnell here. Hey, Morty. And uh, we had wheat planted here this year. And uh, we've harrowed this now after we harvested, and you can see that we've got a little bit of this going on, right? Sprayer tracks here. So what this is, is this is just weed heads that got stomped in that we came and harrowed, and now they've germinated because it's gonna be a different crop next year, so you don't want wheat growing here. So instead of coming through here and spraying this out, we're gonna turn cattle out here. The cattle are gonna take care of the green stemming that we got going on out here, and they're gonna, well, they're gonna shit all over the place, and we'll use a little bit less fertilizer on this next year, right? But you're gonna turn cattle out here. You gotta contain them, so we gotta go around the fence. Now, in a lot of these places, like I usually come out with a side by side or a quad because you can't get anywhere with a pickup, but we're just circling cropland here right now, so you can access all of it with a pickup. So I like to have Morty with me because I can listen to GX94, you know what I mean? Keep a little bit of stuff kicking around in here with me, and we just cruise around and look for broken wires on the fence. Any irregularities? Let's see what we're gonna find. Look at all this along the fence line here. We've got some milk vetch and a few other things in here. Like, there's no point letting this go to waste. We're gonna bring some cattle out here and they're gonna turn this stuff into steak. This is the most important fence to check. It's along the road. And so obviously you don't want your livestock on the road, but the more important part of it is you don't want your neighbors coming by being like, oh, look how terrible that fence is. You gotta keep this pristine. Okay, so we've reached our first issue. Now, I promise you there is a fence in here growing into all these trees, but if you look really close at where we're at, we've got a tree that's fallen down on the wire, popped it off the top of the post. Look at this mess here. No problem, we're gonna come into Morty's tickle trunk here. Oh, it's the only EV I'll ever own. Okay, this should go without saying, but when you're gonna use a saw or do any kind of work, you should always use PPE, all right? These are CSA approved safety glasses, to be perfectly honest. This is why I wear them all the time. And I've got my Quick Dick McDick uh, Timberline gloves available at quickdickmcdick.ca. I have not been able to destroy these things yet. So before you go cutting, make sure that you're safe. Three staples missing out of the bastard, so we'll put those back in. Best thing about fencing this time of year is there's no wood ticks. All right, let's keep rolling. More of this. Mother Nature can do the rest. Uh, I just found one uh, irregularity in the fence that we refer to here in Saskatchewan as a DSP. All right, uh, so let me explain it to you. It's called a dipshit post, and that's the dipshit that was running the harrow bar out here. Hit a post. Another one. Look at all these bastards just waiting to fall down on the fence.
people. So this is where parts get really fun because I ain't taking Morty through there because I don't want to have to phone BMA for a Saskatchewan Yank, so it's time to do some walking. So I don't know what I'm going to need in there. I've got my fancy dancy fencing tool belt with uh, everything that I'll hopefully need. And uh, I didn't bring rubber boots today, so hopefully it's dry in there. Do you know why I'm walking through here? Because well, if there's one thing that cows will do is they will go into the place that you would never expect them to go, find a weakness in your fence and expose it by getting out. So we're trying to take care of that right now. Okay, it was actually surprisingly good. Holy shit. Yeah, they never show this part on Yellowstone, do they? No, just Kevin Costner and his dreamy jeans. Okay, so top wire's a little bit loose here. Normally, if this was against the trees, I'd leave it, but the road's right here, so we better tighten it up and make it look good. Okay, I lost the glove. So now we'll go back to where I was walking last, I guess, because I love cattails. Just over here, you know what? She seems dry. Let's go, Morty. We're gonna, I'm not walking through these things yet. Let's go. If I got a foam BMA for a Saskatchewan Yank, I would look at these cattails. Woo -hoo -hoo! We made her, we made her. Out here looking for gloves instead of fencing. QuickDickMcDick.ca, we sell expensive made in Canada gloves that you can lose and then order more. Shit. Duh. I've got better things to do than to walk around in cattails looking for a glove. Maybe someone will find it someday as an artifact. They'll be like, oh, I wonder what they did here years ago. Well, spoiler alert, it was a dipshit that just lost his glove. Thankfully, I've got a set of backup gloves. Okay, so I got my go-to-town work gloves out because I lost the other ones. So you can get these at quickdickmcdick.ca too. They're made in Canada, but they're go-to-town work gloves. See, wire is kind of like old people. It gets saggy after a while. So we're just going to use this bad boy here and just snug her up a little bit. Okay, super easy. Chain her on the post. And then we're going to get our wire dogs here. Now these are wire dogs, so what you do is you put these around the wire and you clap them together and then you pull them back. See, I can't do it while I'm holding the camera, so I'll show you right away. Okay, because this is super boring, here it is fast motion. Nothing to it, eh? Now everyone on the road thinks that we got a super nice tight vent. <laughs> of course, you get the odd place where you got a staple out of the wire. Seems kind of loose. Probably gonna find an issue farther down the line here. So you see all these tracks in here. So we get a lot of wildlife coming through. That's why you gotta come around this fence. And as we can see here, we've got a broken bottom wire. Looks like it was replaced uh, with an asshole splice, whoever fixed it here last. So uh, we'll get that fixed up. So upon further inspection here, we're just downstream of another asshole splice. Now, these are called asshole splices. And instead of me explaining it to you, I'm gonna get BMA to explain it to you. So I'm gonna cut this out of here and BMA will explain what an asshole splice is. Triple asshole splice. This here's an asshole, this here's an asshole. You get two assholes rubbing together, shit happens. Okay. Uh, the third asshole is the guy that made this thing. So now we get to pull one of these bastards out of Morty. Let's splice them in. Okay, now I've shown this before, but here's how you do a real splice that's not going to pull apart. You trim at the ends of each barb, across the barbs. Grab with the pliers, untwist, over with this one, over with this one. Switch sides. Can you still see this? I don't care. Now that is a splice that is not going anywhere and it is not an asshole splice. Okay, here's a different stretcher you can use. Same idea, get the barbs closed to make a splice in there and then everything's back tight with staple it to the post. 
so like as I'm going on here, you can see like you can see all the stomped out milk vetch and grass and everything in here. This is it's clearly wildlife that's been in here, right? And you know, there's some refuge for them over there. You can see we crop here, bush and lake over there, crop over there. We work well with wildlife here out in Saskatchewan and we leave places for them to harbor shelter and leave stuff for them to eat and uh, you know hunting's a big part of what we do out here because we have to control the population of them to a certain extent because we spend a lot of time going behind them and fixing some fences where we're going to put cattle and stuff but you can't have an overpopulation of them as well but we just try and work well together with them so that they've kind of got a place where they can be and we've got a place where we can be and we can all kind of make food together you know what I mean? Now that being said, as much as I love wildlife, it uh, sure does piss you off when they break your fence. Continuing on, had a break down there, got it fixed, got a staple out here, and then we got some trees we got to pull off over here. In a little spot here, we've had some critters crawling underneath, so we got the stay in the fence is all wrecked. I think they call them stays because once they're bent, they just stay bent. Oh, look what else we got here, old Sastel line buried here. Can you imagine how many of these things are all bastardized in the ground and fields across Saskatchewan? Nobody cares there's a phone line here. Don't worry, I got it for you guys, so I'll uh, send you my bill. Treat. Then the alleyway here brings us up to BMA's old cattle operation here, which brings us to SBB and BMA's yard, so we better go up and see what's going on here, right? We'll maybe spend some time here. That is some celery. Do not mess with that lady. Quick dick picked the pepper from his mother's pepper patch. Okay. We'll come back later and dig potatoes. I just finished this fence. And there's some parts of fences that, as long as they're standing, you're not gonna touch them. This would be one of them. Okay, so we made it all the way around. What was there, about 10 breaks? Pony staples to put in, da da da. It's not actually too bad. But I noticed there's a lot of posts are kind of starting to lift out in some older spots where it's a little bit swampy and it's dry here right now. So we're gonna drive those things back in. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use to drive those back in. So if we just skip across the lake over here, right over to where uh, my land is over here, I'm busy building some new fence over here. And oh, look what we're gonna run back over there with and do a little bit of slam a ram -a ding dong to a couple of posts with. Look at this weapon. What a beauty. So as you can see, we've obviously harvested wheat here too. This is where my cattle are right now. They're out here just doing their thing, looking after everything. And yes, we have rocks around here. I mean rocks. But got this little fencing project on the go over here right now. Let me show you this weapon we're using over here. Okay. Little Kubota SVL 97.2. Beauty little unit on tracks there. Check these guys out if you ever get a chance there. The Wheat Belt Boys over in Medina running a good show. Little track unit here, but look at this weapon on the front of it here. The Montana Post Driver. I'm gonna show you how this thing works. Of anything that I have ever spent money on, that thing right there has saved a lot of shoulder work. Just a little hop, skip, and a jump over to BMAs, just the back side of the lake. That's where we're headed there. You wait till you see what this thing does. It is unreal. We made it to the gate. That's mine over there. BMAs over here. And we're gonna take this guy. And we're gonna go put a bunch of these back down on the ground where they belong. I'm just gonna drive super slow through here in case I can see that frickin' glove that I lost. Please show up. No glove. Okay, but here's what we got going on. See, these posts over time start pulling out of the ground here. Sometimes because your wire's extra tight and you're getting down into a low spot where it's kind of spongy ground. So over time, frost and everything will help push them out of the ground. So we're going to go back in along these posts and we're just going to rattle them all down a little bit. You're going to want some hearing protection for this thing. done look at this place beautiful here well I'll go help mom dig some potatoes now I guess oh 
Oh, mom, I found this rotten little potato here. I'm gonna name it Justin Trudeau. <laughs> the jokes write themselves. What's the point of the video? Well, there kind of isn't. Just showing you I'm just a regular human being just like everybody else. Always doing shit. There's always shit to be done and uh, yeah. It's like showing off the cattle and the farm every now and then and uh, you know, some of the different stuff that we do to make sure that we can use cattle to our advantage and integrate them with the crop that we grow and keep some beef steaks and some oats and some wheat and some canola oil and everything else coming out to all you folks there. Oh, you want more? Okay, I'll get you some more chop. Anyways, it's been fun. Uh, I'll have a high paced, heavy hitting upload hopefully next Monday for you. But until then, I'm not even gonna rhyme out here tonight. I'm just gonna say, uh, take care out there folks. We'll catch you next time.